Hello lovely and welcome back to The Makeup Hunter. Um, firstly, I would like to make a big apology to any of my regular followers um, that I haven't been sticking to my consistent upload schedule. Unfortunately, life has got a little bit busier than I've been used to lately. Um, I will be sharing a life update and sort of a chatty get ready with me soon where I talk about everything that's been going on and just generally have a you know a, a chat with you guys um but yeah I haven't been able to film as much as I had got used to filming so um I only uploaded once last week um and it's possibly only going to be once this week as well so um thank you so much for joining me today the video i am going to be sharing with you today is a shop my stash i have um had the items um in rotation now for quite a while um and i'm definitely ready to get some new products in there um i've purchased some new bits and pieces which you'll see in this video and i am definitely planning a couple of haul videos i've got um a made by mitchell haul that i want to film um i got some quite a few bits from his 11 11 sale some absolute bargains and i'll be including some of those in this new rotation so this is a slightly longer video as my shop my stashes usually are because I do like to sort of give um, mini reviews on all the products that I've used over the last month or however long it's been. Um, I think it's probably going to be around a month before I do my next one. Um, I've been wearing makeup a little bit more um regularly um making more of an effort to you know wear makeup more often to get use out of my products so i've been getting a real good feel for the products that are in and it's also been helping me declutter some things as well so thank you so much for joining me today and for choosing to spend some time with me um if you like this kind of content if you like shop my stashes um you like makeup reviews um get ready with me's um affordable beauty as well as high end and luxury um i do kind of cover it all over here and yeah i do have some hauls coming up i've got a couple of makeup hauls and um i want to do a primark haul as well i've got um I've still got my primark haul to do from when i was on holiday so yeah um if you um like the sound of that then please do keep watching and stick around um and spend some time with me again in the future and without further ado let's get into my makeup collection Okay, so these are the palettes that I have had in rotation for the last little while. Um, I have used all of them. Um, some I've used more than others. Um, so the first ones I'm going to get rid of are my custom palettes. Um, this is one that contains shadows from... Inglot, MAC, Glam Shop and the Pastel Roses and Makeup Geek. Um, I've had this one sort of in rotation for quite a long time now um, and I am ready to switch the shades up. Um, I am going to be filming a separate video of me building my custom palettes for the next month or couple of months um, and I think that one will have probably gone up before this video so you will know <laughs> what palettes I'm going to have in rotation, uh, custom palettes. So this is the Lethal Cosmetics one that I've had in. I usually have um, a Lethal Cosmetics one and then one with sort of a mixture of singles so this is the lethal one that i've had in and i've created some really beautiful looks with this i've really enjoyed this color selection then i have in my um, glam shop nude matte so this is the totally matte nude palette 
um, and as you can imagine it's an all matte nudes palette um, I like having a palette of this style in my um, rotation um, so that if I want to use just one of my special indie shadows I can build a look with this and then just pop a special shade all over the lid so um, I've had this in for the last couple of rotations so I'm going to switch this one out um, I have another all matte nude palette which I'm going to pull in instead of this one then we had my ABH soft glam um, I had this in to sort of force myself to use it and this is probably the palette that I've used the most this month. I've used it so many times to form an opinion on it and I've realised I just don't enjoy this palette. I don't enjoy the formula. Um, I find the formula of my Makeup Revolution palettes better um than this i don't know whether it's because this palette is older i mean it's not that old um i certainly didn't buy it when it first came out i waited for a few years before i actually bought it um but i just find it so dusty there is so much kick up with these shades even when using a finger on the shimmer shadows i mean i haven't touched some of the shades um but like this one i applied this one with my finger and the amount of of pigment that came up um i got so much fallout on my face and that's using my finger and that never usually happens when i use my finger to apply shimmers so I just didn't have a very enjoyable experience with this palette. Um, I didn't like the looks when I'd done them because they just seemed quite dusty. Um, and they made, they I felt like they aged me because there was so much fallout and dust. Um, so yeah, I, I'm really disappointed in this palette. Um, I know my mum really likes this. Um, every time she sees it, she says, oh, that's such a pretty palette. So I'm going to let her have a play with it and see if she likes how it performs better than me. And if she does, I'm going to let her keep it. Um, because I just know it's not going to be one that I'm going to want to reach for. I've got other colour stories very similar to this that I like more. So yeah, that's a bit of a sad one. Um, I never thought I'd get rid of this. This is the sort of the last ABH palette that I've got. Um, but yeah, I just, it wasn't a fun experience. One that is even older than that one, but still performs absolutely beautifully, is the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Remastered. This was another one I didn't buy this when it first launched. I waited a few years before I picked it up. And I really love this palette. These are like a cream to powder formula, but they are just that insanely beautiful um the mattes still perform really beautiful there's hardly any kick up in the pan with these shadows um and it's just a really nice palette a really lovely sort of more glamorous neutrals palette then we had the colourpop limoncello palette um, this was one I hadn't used and wanted to get some use out of um, before the winter months and I did use it a couple of times. I really enjoy this palette. It's the Colourpop formula that I know and love. Um, the shimmers are quite subtle. They're not that sort of showstopper um, shimmer formula but for sort of an everyday neutral look with a pop of interest. It's a really beautiful palette and I really did enjoy it. And then finally, we have the um, Natasha Denona Mini Bieber palette. Again, I used this uh, once or twice, I think. Um, and I absolutely loved the looks that I created with it. Um, I mainly reached for the mattes in here. Um, and like the big Bieber palette, the mattes in here are just so stunning. So sophisticated, um, super pigmented, but easy to work with. And yeah, I, I did really enjoy this little mini palette. 
Okay, so here is what I have had in rotation since my last shop my stash. There is a little bit more here than I initially put in, but I am going to go through everything and um, talk you through what I thought about the products, what my experience has been like and explain the situation over here so first things first i am going to keep a couple of products in for the next well i want to keep them in until i've used them up basically um i've not got much of the it cosmetics cc cream left at all at the moment um and this is one of the oldest foundations in my collection so i want to get this one used up as soon as possible so I am going to just keep it in a sort of an unofficial project pan just until I've finished it. And the same goes for my Flower Beauty Light Illusion Concealer. I think I'm really coming close to finishing this one. Um, not much is sort of coming out on the applicator um, anymore. So again this is an older product within my collection um you can sort of see some of the window in there so i just want to get this one used up as well so i'm going to be keeping that one in until it's gone um i'm also going to be keeping in my um be perfect instant bronzing face gel um i like to use this when i'm feeling extra pale um if i've had a run of um bad flares or lack of sleep and i'm looking a bit um gray around the gills then this is a lovely one to just sort of add into my foundation or put on before my foundation it's a really lovely product so i'm keeping that one in and then i'm also going to be keeping in my um, australian gold and um, botanical sunscreen this is a tinted sunscreen that um I haven't really been using as much, um, well, I haven't used it at all um, during this rotation um, because we've not really had the weather um, and I've not really been going out of the house much. But I am going to keep this one in for those days when I want it. And then I'm also going to keep in my I Heart Revolution Honey Brow Jam. This is like my favourite brow product and it's the one that i use most days so i'm going to be keeping that one in as well but i think everything else apart from my big face palette that's down here that i always keep in is going to go back so starting with primer i had in my revolution irn IRL skin filter pore blur primer you can see I've got some decent use on this I really really like this primer it's been a joy to use um, for those days when I've needed my makeup to stick around for a long period um, or I've been feeling like my skin looks a little extra textured this has been amazing then um, another sort of priming product I had in was the Ekinsu Radiant Glow Booster. Um, this is a similar product to Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter, the Elf Halo Glow, etc, etc. Um, it's just a radiant um, lotion. It looks beautiful on top of foundation as a liquid highlight. It looks stunning under your foundation, targeted on just the high points it's a really beautiful product and then also from be perfect i had in my perfection primer champagne glow this is another primer that i have come to really really appreciate it has a blurring quality as well as being like um like glowy illuminating it does have sort of like a filtered sort of appearance to it um and i've really really enjoyed it then for base products, I had been focusing mostly on my It Cosmetics CC cream. 
The one I used second to that one is the Rare Beauty Tinted Moisturiser. I absolutely love this product. It is such a beautiful, light coverage tinted moisturiser. It does have some SPF in it. It wears really, really nicely and it's just the right amount of coverage. Then I also had in my Maybelline Superstay Skin Tint. Um, this one I didn't use as much because it's more, it's like a newer product to my collection and I really wanted to focus on the older ones. Um, but this is sort of um, become a fast favourite. I absolutely love this. I mean, you can see the sort of radiance in it um, and it's just, it's, beautiful wears so nice and it has really decent coverage for a skin tint and then another newer one that i did use a couple of times um when i wanted more full coverage i liked to mix it mix these two together or to add a little bit in with my um rare beauty tinted moisturizer this is a very full coverage um illuminating foundation and um, it's ever so slightly too pale for me i could have done with a shade up but it is a, a beautiful foundation to mix in with um, a light coverage foundation so this is one that um I'm not going to use constantly. It is one that I will reserve for special occasions or as a mixer um but it is a really beautiful foundation. If you like full, full coverage, then that's a great one to go for. Then concealer, other than the Flower Beauty, I had in my Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Light. I have two of these. This one is the shade Sugar. Um, and I find that this one is sometimes darker than my actual foundation shade. So I liked having the lighter concealer to mix with it which is what i'm going to do with the next rotation i'm going to pick um, a concealer that's a little bit lighter uh, for powder i had my fenty beauty pro filter this was the first time i'd actually used this powder i've had it for such a long time but i hadn't really got around to using it and i've really fallen in love with this powder it's stunning it smells amazing it's really blurring it lasts really well on the skin but i don't find it drying at all it is a, a really really great powder then i also had in my three from hmb cosmetics so i've got extra brightening fair and pink i have used all three of these now and have come to really really appreciate this powder it's a really beautiful formula it is so incredibly blurring it does have um quite a lot of like a decent amount of coverage to it um the extra brightening is my favorite and it's the one that i've gone to the most it's like a white radiant powder um and yeah i've just i've really really enjoyed these powders um but i need to give some of my other ones a bit more tlc then for cream bronzer another product that i've come to really appreciate is my danessa myricks balm contour it looks like i've barely touched this but i've used it so many times um i just really like this formula it's like a gel formula um the color's really good for me it blends really beautifully um and it, it does set down nicely with powder so i've i've really enjoyed this um it was one that i hadn't really got to know very well but i, I can rate it as up there with some of my favorite cream bronzers now then for powder bronzers i had two i had my matte fenty beauty um in the shade in the sun i am sort of starting to see the like the outline of the pan um i did get a bit of hard pan on this unfortunately so i did have to scrape a little bit of it off and you can see that i'm starting to get hard pan again around the outside um, it is an older bronzer in my collection, but I still think it's good. It still performs fine. It's just it does get hard pan um, over time. But yeah, I 
I love this bronzer. It's a great everyday bronzer. And then I like to have a glowy version as well, like a matte and a glowy bronzer. And this is the Glowish Bronzer by Huda Beauty. Another one that I absolutely adore. With these Glowish powders, it never looks like you've touched them. Even though I've used this one quite a lot. I have really enjoyed it. It's really beautiful. It's glowy, but it's not too glowy. It just makes the skin look super healthy. Then for powder blushes, I had in my Hello Kitty... Um, this is one of my favourite blushes. I just think it's so beautiful, bright, poppy, punchy. This one is in the shade Aloha Honey. I also had in another favourite. This is Max Stay Pretty. Use this one a ton. I have worn makeup a lot more this rotation than I have been in previous rotations. Um, so I have got a lot of use out of pretty much i would say 90 percent of the products that are in here i have decluttered one um cream blush and one cream highlighter that i'd put in originally so i have decluttered my beauty pie cream cream blush and beauty pie cream highlighter i use those in um, a get ready with me my one where i talked about my social anxiety and i really didn't enjoy them um i asked my mum if she wanted them and she took them off my hands she also took the other cream blushes from beauty pie off my hands as well um cream blush i had in um my huda beauty um this is the um coral cutie cheeky tint used this a few times really really enjoyed it i really like this formula already and then i also had in um another powder blush my pat mcgrath labs this is skin fetish divine blush in nude venus 2 um crikey i love this blush it's such a good go with anything nude blush has a slight bit of radiance to it i actually wore this one today and it's just absolutely stunning i can't say enough good things about the pat mcgrath powder blush formula and in her black friday sales i definitely want to pick up some more now I might as well talk about the elephant in the room all these made by mitchell products so um I think I'd got some in already that I kept over from my previous rotation because I made a couple of orders for Made by Mitchell blushes from TikTok shop because they're all on offer at £5. And I also did an order on Beauty Bay for the Holly Flynn collection, the bits from the Holly Flynn collection that I wanted because they weren't on sale on TikTok shop, they were full price, but Beauty Bay had them at um, a good discount. So there's a couple of orders here of blushes, and I have come to really thoroughly appreciate the Made by Mitchell blush formula. I've been using it pretty much every single time I do my makeup, to the point that I've barely touched this one. Like once I got hold of these, I didn't really use that one very much. So out of the normal matte blushes, this is um, the shade extension that they that he did and the um, Holly Flynn ones. So I've got... Um, so I've got My Darling, which is one of the Holly Flynn matte liquid blushes. Then I've got Bella Blossom from the shade extension. I've got Party Pink, which was a shade that I'd wanted to get for ages, but it was always out of stock. And I finally managed to grab one. I've got Teach and Peach, which is another shade extension. Peony Passion, again, from the shade extension. Um, Nancy from the Holly Flynn collection and I've got Peach Beach from the shade extension. The only one that I haven't used is Party Pink. I've used all of the others and they're just absolutely stunning. I've got a few more um, 
from like when I originally purchased them um, in my collection and I'm definitely going to keep some blushes in rotation because I just don't want to be without them in fact there's more that I really want to pick up specifically this formula which is the blush um i think it's the blush glow um and it's kind of like a um a shimmery blush highlight um some the one of these um they're both the same formula but the one the the shimmer particles are chunkier than in the other but these just look so stunning on the skin they make you look so perfected and healthy um they add a little bit of color but not too much and i just i absolutely love these this he bought out four i got pearl twist and picking petals and there's two gold ones that i want to pick up as well um this is my favorite sort of formula that i've tried for a while and then I've also got um, a, a shimmery one from the um, Holly Flynn um, collection. This is Holly Pop. And this is more of a shimmery blusher. It very, very much reminds me of Charlotte Tilbury's Pink Asm. It's stunning. Um, really, really been enjoying those. And then sort of the last base products, I've got my um, Inglot Freedom System face palette that stays in all the time. It's got four contour powders, a blush, a highlight and a face powder. And I just always keep that in here because it sort of fits in there nicely. Then I have MAC Soft and Gentle. I've loved this. Um, it's an old classic, but it's one that I can never get rid of because it's just, it to me, it's perfect. It's not texture enhancing. There's no chunky glitters in it. It just makes you look really glowy and healthy, but you can really build it up to make it look super, super blinding if that's the look that you're going for. And then kind of a cream version of Soft and Gentle is Max Cream Colour Base in the shade Seaside. This is a lovely warm champagne cream highlight. I used this one today. I wore it with the Pat McGrath blush and the Teach and Peach made by Mitchell, Mitchell blush underneath. And I absolutely loved my um, cheeks today. Then we have my Revlon Colour Stay Cream Shadow in the shade Caramel. I use this as an eyeshadow primer. Um, this one is quite sparkly. Um, it's one of my favourites. I absolutely love it. Um, but this one, if you if you're using mattes over the top you can sort of see the sparkles in them. Um, but I've really loved this. You can see I've made quite a dent in there. Um, so I'm going to rotate in another cream shadow from either Maybelline or Revlon. Then I have my two Colourpop Super Shock shadows. Um, I Did I use this one, Sweet Tea? No, I don't think I did, you know. Um, I definitely used this one, La Mesa. I used this in the video where I talked about my social anxiety I think when I used my Natasha Denona mini Bieber palette oh it's stunning so so stunning I think I also used it a second time as well for my inner corner um but I didn't use this one in the shade sweet tea um I think I am going to rotate this one out because I've I've the custom palettes that I've built for myself are more like grungy, like winter florals with blues and teals and purples. Um, and I kind of want to, um, some super shocks that will play off those sort of tones. Then for lip products, I've used all of these except for MAC Lady Danger. I didn't really have an occasion to wear this which is such a shame so I think I am going to keep this one in because um this time of year is perfect for like an orangey red but I used everything else so really loved MAC no photos this is a stunning like 
balmy glossy um lipstick that just makes sure you look like you've got like juicy plump post filler lips it's just perfect i like wearing it with a darker lip liner and then we've got oc from dior again i absolutely love this and you can see i like wearing this with a darker lip liner really pretty healthy fresh pink and then the two that i use the most are my two nudes so i had vive 90s i probably use this one the most out of everything um this is a matte cool toned brown the name 90s is perfect for it um and i really do enjoy the formula so so pigmented but i do find them ever so slightly drying but i do have um, a bad habit of chewing my lips so my lips are always in like a healing process um the amount of lip oils balms masks that i use is unbelievable and they still are always dry um so i did find that that vive lipstick slightly enhanced my dry lips um this one is another very matte formula um this is colourpop's lux blur in the shade kate but because this is that sort of like velvety blurred popsicle lips type of formula that colourpop are quite well known for I actually didn't find this in, enhanced my dry texture on my lips and this lip lipstick is pretty much the exact shade of my lips so I just found this one so easy to wear I love this Lux Blur formula I do have quite a few of them this was the plush like me collection and I bought the whole collection of lipsticks um, so I had all of the ones that were released and there was quite a few released um, and I just I really do love this formula I thoroughly enjoyed using this lipstick so let's put back the things that I'm keeping in And this is probably going to be a longer video um, because of me going into a bit of detail. So I am going to keep some of my blushes back. I'm sorry, I can't help myself. I'm definitely going to keep Peach Beach because I think this is the perfect like autumn -y blush colour. I'm also going to keep my darling, this lovely rosy pink. Um, and I think I'm going to keep Nancy as well this beautiful bright orange I've really enjoyed that and then I'm definitely going to keep in Picking Petals and Pearl Twist I just can't be without those at the moment I'm sorry you know sue me but yeah that's all I'm actually going to be keeping in. Okay, these two main makeup drawers I've had to pull over onto my bed because they're getting a little bit out of hand um, and I kind of need to reorganise them. So I'm going to pull the products that I want and then I'm going to have to do some reorganisation because it's just kind of getting out of hand. I've got stuff everywhere. Um, so yeah, <laughs> so let's pull some products anyway so for a primer i've been really enjoying having a more mattifying um pore bl blurring primer and a glowy primer um i want something pore blurring and mattifying for long days and then something glowy for when I'm not going to be wearing my makeup for long periods or I want to feel a little bit more glam so for a more mattifying pore blurring primer i think i'm gonna go for the <laughs> elf power grip i haven't really used this one properly yet um and i don't really know much about how i feel about it um so i'm gonna give this one a go and then um for a more <clears throat> excuse me for a more glowy primer um i only have um 
a few uses left in the Smashbox primerizer. Um, I was trying to pan this, so I'm going to pull this, leave it in my shop my stash drawer and try and finish it. But I also want like an actual glowy primer. So I think I'm going to take my, uh, not that one. Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow. I absolutely adore this primer. So we'll pop that one in. And then as I pulled it out, I might as well put it in. This is the Light Wonder Foundation from Charlotte Tilbury. This is a lighter coverage. Well, it's a light to medium coverage radiant foundation that is up there with one of my as one of my favourite foundations. I absolutely adore it. So I am going to give that one some TLC for the next month or so. And then for a more fuller coverage foundation, I think we'll go for... Christian Dior Forever Skin Glow Foundation. This is the old formulation of this, which I absolutely love. Um, so I just want to give it a bit more love. So we'll go for that one. Um, I was just trying to think if I wanted another one. I think I am actually going to pull in my um, Fenty Ease Drops as well for a more matte foundation for kind of every day when I don't want the sort of the glow of the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder. So three foundations plus the one I'm trying to finish may be a bit excessive but I really do want to give some love to some of these products. Now for concealer as um since the last time I um since I filmed the, sh the first parts of this shop my stash um, I've actually s pretty much am out of my um, Flower Beauty concealer. I've got very, very little of it left. Um, so I am going to add in my NYX Born to Glow concealer. This is an older one in my collection and is the sort of the next one that I'd like to really give some focus to. Um, I also really love that concealer. And I'm also going to add in my Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Concealer. This one is slightly deeper um, and is sort of a more natural finish concealer that I don't always need to set if I don't want to. So I think this one will work really nicely with the Dior Forever Skin Glow. So we'll take that one. Um, I have had quite a few um, Made by Mitchell um, liquid blushes and the Curve cases. So I'm not really going to be picking um, cream blushes. Um, but I want to add in um, one of the Revolution Pro Hydra Bright blushes because I haven't really got round to using these yet. So I want to try the peach one. So I'm going to put in the Revolution Pro Hydra Bright Cream Blush in the shade Peach. And then for powders, um, let's see. I've, I really, really, really enjoyed having in my um, Fenty powder. I thoroughly enjoyed that. Um, I think I'm going to go for... Let's try and finish my, if I can get it out, Ooh. my Franken powder. Um, this is a mixture of the YSL um, Souffle de Clap powder and I also crushed up my um, Chanel Healthy, Healthy Glow um, pressed powder to put in here so I'm going to take that one and then I also like to have in a pressed powder so I think we will go for I just want something super basic um, 
haven't tried this one yet so let's take the number seven airbrush away finishing powder we'll take that and that is going to be it from this drawer um setting sprays i have out my benefit pour professional and a franken one that i made from charlotte tilbury uh cover effect uh the colour pop pretty fresh i kind of added them all into the same bottle together um so i've been using that as like a glowy setting spray and then the benefit professional for something a bit more mattifying and long lasting so that's going to be it for this drawer okay and in this one it's kind of a mess i do need to reorganize this this is all my cream products um i have a case from made by mitchell i bought um the curve case in light i've also ordered the medium as well so that has got like a load of cream bronzers in there um and it's also i've also got cream blushes in there and i've got some of the normal blushes um, i bought a couple more shades and i left in some from um last time um that i didn't want to put back so i don't really want to pull much in the way of creams but i definitely want a um cream highlighter i left in my two blush glow from made by mitchell and i managed to buy another one um unfortunately the other one that i wanted was out of stock so i am going to pull a um cream highlighter um i think i'm going to take one of my ColourPop light sticks um I think I'll pull this one. So this is the shade Earth from Colourpop, which is a nice, like, pinky tone, but it's a warmer pink rather than, like, a very icy pink. So we'll go with that one. Um, and then I do want to pull another cream bronzer because the um the made by Mitchell formula in the curve cases it's absolutely stunning but it is very balmy and I'd like one that's perhaps a little bit drier um I I really need to make a decision on this. Um, I really don't know whether I want to keep this um, BFF bronzing face frosting from um, Pink Honey. Um, it's not the product. The product itself is lovely, but I got totally the wrong shade. I am a, I'm very fair, but I have a cool undertone um, and i have a lot of pink in my skin and this is very olive toned so it, it it doesn't look quite right on my skin um but there's so much product in here and i've i've not i've made a dip in it but i i haven't used enough of it um so i i think i'm going to pull this one in use it for the month and then just finally make a decision on whether i'm going to keep it or get rid of it so i i should have got the shade i think it's milky mocha which would have been the perfect tone for me but the there is um a shade like that in the um curve cases from made by mitchell so i'm gonna and I actually prefer the formula in the Made by Mitchell Curve cases. So I'm going to give this a month sort of um, on the chopping block, so to speak. We'll put it on the chopping block, see how I get on with it. And then I may um, declutter it, um, which is how I have been doing my declutter sort of process of elimination use them see how I feel about them and then get rid of them. OK, and now for powder for powder bronzer i am at my ultimate pay list at the moment i'm not doing any fake tan or anything like that so this is the perfect time of year to use my charlotte tilbury airbrush bronzer this is in the shade fair and it is super super pale um i can't use it if i've got any sort of tan or color to my skin so this is the perfect time to focus on it and it's a great everyday 
natural bronzer so we'll go for that one the powder bronzer um i usually like to pick a glowy bronzer as well um but i'm not sure whether i want to pull one this month um mm, no i think i'm just gonna stick with that one um from um charlotte tilbury um am i gonna regret that no we'll leave it at that um for powder blushes i don't actually need to pull any because i bought the two made by mitchell blush books and each one has like i think it's 12 blushes in each one so i've got like 24 powder blushes in my um drawer at the moment so i definitely do not need a, another one um but i do want a powder highlight um and i may potentially thinking about the bronzer situation um no what am i on about no that's 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 crazy talk um i was thinking of pulling um a face palette that's got um a sort of a more radiant bronzer in but then i'm also going to end up with more powder blushes so i'm not going to do that um let's just pick powder highlights come on laura pull yourself together the rag man's about um let me think about this i'm gonna go for my inglot medium sparkler we'll take that one and i think i want another powder highlight as well um Uh, what do I, let's go for one of my Ofra ones. I really do need to give these some attention. So I've got Star Island and I've got um, Glazed Donut. Let's have a look. That is Glazed Donut. And that is Star Island. I think we'll go for Glazed Donut. And that is all I am going to pull from this drawer. Let's pick some palettes. So from this first drawer, this is where I keep sort of my higher end palettes and i know for definite i want to take the natasha denona yucca palette as i haven't actually used this one yet um i also want to take um i want to take my patrick tar major dimension one palette um again i haven't got round to using that one yet and that's two this is one so we'll take that and then that is going to be it out of this drawer okay and in this bottom drawer this is where my single shadows and more affordable palettes are and i've got some indie stuff in here as well and i absolutely want to take the beauty bay rich palette again i haven't used that one yet and then i want to take a colourpop palette and i think even though i've already got the 42 pan palette from beauty bay I kind of want to take my So Jaded palette. 
because I never reach for this and I think it's kind of the perfect time of year for this colour story and I think that'll be really nice to use in combination with my pastel roses singles so that is it for palettes okay and let's just pick a few lip products so I definitely want to pull a Dior um Charlotte Tilbury and a Pat McGrath this month I think so for my Dior choice I've got some lovely nudes in my Dior lipsticks. So I have this one here, which is a lovely pinky nude, and that is the shade Rose Celestial. And I think that is my Dior choice. I absolutely adore my Dior lipsticks. I could take tons of them, but I am just going to take that one. Then for Pat McGrath, these ones are a little bit more deeper um, and a lot more like intensely pigmented. Um, this is a nice deep one called Flesh for Three. And I think this one will look really nice with the rich palette. So I'm going to take that one. And then for my Charlotte Tilbury, um, let's take the classic pillow talk so we'll go for that one and then I think I'll take one of my Gucci's as well um, this is a beautiful dark brown called Tacey Hazel it's like a cool toned deeper brown and again I think that'll look gorgeous with the Yucca palette and the Beauty Bay Rich palette. So that's going to be it for lips out of that drawer. I have kept in my um, MAC Lady Danger that I didn't use last month so I do have a MAC lipstick. Um, out of here I think I'm going to pull one of my sheer shiny um, YSL lipsticks. I absolutely love this formula and it's such an easy formula to wear. Um, yeah, I think we'll go for this one. So this one is the shade number 48. And that's going to go stunning with all the palettes that I've chosen. And then, do I want one more? I think I'm going to pull one of my Doll Beauty really pale nudes that I purchased to use as like a topper. Because I think that will look nice with the deeper lipsticks just to lighten things up a little bit so I have the shade dulled out and the shade um what's that say so tiny golden girl so i think i'll take this golden girl one which is more of a peachy tone whereas the other one's a bit more pink toned so that's going to be it for lip products out of these drawers okay so that is everything in my little tray these are the lipstick swatches i'm really excited about these i think these are 
so beautiful and are going to work so well with all the palettes that I've pulled plus my um, custom palettes that I've created. Um, I'm not going to be swatching anything else um, just because there is quite a lot here and I'm going to be planning on doing um, some dedicated videos to like get ready with me using my Shop My Stash products. I've also got some new Made by Mitchell bits here. These are the two blush books and I've also got the curve case underneath my foundations um, but I'm going to be doing um, a dedicated video on like my Made by Mitchell haul. Um, I'm just going to lay out my palettes now so you can see them um, sort of open. Um, I'm not going to um, show the um, two custom palettes that I built because I have done a dedicated video to that which is the previous video on my channel. So okay and these are the four palettes that i have pulled for the next month or few weeks or however long it is before i get bored but i have pulled quite a lot so um i will probably leave these in for a little while but that is my video for today. That's my Shop My Stash completed. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry I haven't swatched um, everything like I did in my last Shop My Stash. But um, there will definitely be some dedicated get ready with me's using all these products. So thank you so much for watching, lovely. As always, I really, really appreciate you. Um, hello to all my new followers and some extra loves to my existing followers who always give me tons of support. Um, love yourself a little harder today and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.